Good evening, I'm Nancy Dodge from YB Stamp. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this evening we're doing a product highlight on the new upcoming Stampin' Up! set titled Circle Sayings. So you could buy it as a stamp set or as a bundle and I will show you that. So here is a picture of the stamp set. I can't show it to you in the catalog yet because it's not available for sale yet, but it's coming. So I wanted to get you excited about this. And I will start showing you what to do. So yes, here's the stamp set. And you can buy it singly like this or as a bundle with this 2 and 3 8 inch, you can see it, circle punch, which punches all these out. All right, I'm going to show, I'll just kind of leave that there so you can see it for a few minutes. So I'm going to show you a few things that I've already pre-stamped. So I stamped this and colored it in. And then I cut another circle out of my circle dies. I guess that's cheating a little. It's not in this bundle. <laughs> and um, put the smile there because it says sending you a smile. And I cut another circle out of my circle dies because I thought that looked really neat underneath it like that. <clears throat> so these two colors are new. They're called Lemon Lolly and they are coming in the May 2023-2024 annual catalog. And this blue here is Azure um, Afternoon. It's really pretty, isn't it? And this dark one is called Blueberry Bushel. And I think all three of them were colors before, but that was before my time. So I have the Azure Afternoon cardstock cut, and that's just an eight and a half by 11 piece cut in half, so that it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then also in the catalog, uh, there's a bundle of designer series paper with all the new colors that are going to replace uh, some other colors in the the main lineup of colors in the color refresh. And this was one of the papers that I, I really liked with this. So I'm going to just quick put a card together, get out my bone folder. Whoops missed. There we go. But isn't that a pretty shade of blue? And I'm going to take my stamp and oh nope that's stamp and seal plus regular stamp and seal. The plus is when you need it like for a box or something you're going to open and close a lot because you want that extra strength. So I'm just going to put some of this on. I really like this. That was really pretty. I'm going to stick this on. And as you know, designer series paper has both something on both sides. So this is Misty Moonlight. That is another color that's coming back. I'm just going to stick this on here. Whoops. That was close. I've had a very, very busy weekend. Trying to get my taxes done. I don't know how many of you have finished your taxes, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> and I'm going to pull out some dimensionals. They're all stuck together. And I'm just going to put these on. Give it a little extra depth. But I want you to see how quickly these can go together. Because how often do you quickly need a birthday card? Or how quickly do you need a thank you card? Or something thinking of you. Okay. So I'm just going to center this. And then put this one off to the side a bit. I guess that's good. 
get rid of these little pieces, put them in my trash receptacle, and then I want to add, I'm going to add some of these um, adhesive back milky dots. I don't know if they're still in stock, but they were on clearance. Sorry about the noise, I'll try to open it over here. But I thought the blue would look really pretty on here. They are really pretty. There. How simple is that? Not pretty. Okay, now another idea that I had was to take the um, note cards and envelopes and I'm going to mask this off. So that I don't mess it up. Now I could fold it in half, but I didn't want that extra bulk. And I'm going to use some new colors and some old. Too new, too old. Blueberry bushel, azure afternoon, um, balmy blue, and daffodil delight. I'm going to use uh, my blending brushes, both the big one and the little one. Isn't the little one cute? All right, I'm going to start with the Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to eventually stamp that same um, stamp on it. So I wanted the yellow up top, like the um, sun. kind of relaxing to just sit here and color. Alright, now I'm going to do blue. So I'm going to start with the light balmy blue first because I'm going to use the same. Um, I'm just going to kind of put some of the lighter blue around. to simulate the sky where the sun isn't. And then I'll bring it down just a little bit. And I don't want it too dark because I'm going to stamp over it. I'm trying to sh This is going to be a card that you just use with the stamp set. I'm trying to show you that you don't have to buy the whole kit and caboodle. Alright, so this is darker. Whoops, it moved on me. Let's see if I can get rid of that swirl. Maybe, maybe not. But you know what? It's handmade, so it's going to be different. Let's stick those aside and I'm going to use the blueberry bushel with this stamp set. I mean with this stamp. Oops. This one with the um, the wave and the sun. So for those of you that don't know you put the flat side of the stamp onto the a block Open it up, ink it up so that it's good and inky. I'm going to kind of put it right in the middle between the sun and the waves. Give it some color. And then I think I'll keep the same color out. And I'm going to stamp thank you on it. I'll pull out a B block. So these are all different size blocks. This is a D block. This is a B block. A C is in between. An A is even smaller. 
I'm just going to put a thank you here. Very simple. I'm going to quickly clean off my stamps. I have the stamp and scrub here with the sun on one side just in that little hole and the rain I mean the raindrops and the sun here so that it's wash and dry. And I have my stamp and mist. Just going to give it a little bit of a squirt. Scrub. Dry. Clean. Ta-da. Scrub. Dry. Clean. Alrighty. We're going to add a little bit of bling to this. Maybe we'll use those same milky dots. Maybe we'll put some gold in there. Make it pop. Fold it up. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to make that noise. There. How simple is that? See, you quickly need a thank you card. There you go. Just make sure you have a little splat mat underneath. <laughs> All right. Now, I had promised in my um, um, posts that I was going to show you the baby wipe technique. So I have a wipe here in an empty case because I didn't want to get too... Um, Go under and leak on underneath and I have the re-inkers I have a little bit of fresh freesia and I'm not going to use too much because I don't want to but I want it to spread out and a little daffodil delight As you can see, I'm doing an arc so that I can use one of the stamps and some shaded spruce just for like a little greenery because in the stamp there are some greens. Okay. So I'm going to let that sit just a minute. I'm going to use this. I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it. They're flowers. See them? Whoops. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to put these stamps back that I've just used. Put that aside. Put this down. I like to do it at an angle because then I can grab it on either side instead of doing it like this where you can't see it. Oh, I already got a piece out. So I think I will do yeah. looks like it needs a little more fresh freesia. Hold on, we're gonna add some more. Because I want to so this is acting like my ink pad. And this is just a wipe doesn't necessarily have to be a baby wipe. But I needed it a little more gushier. I think I got it gushy. Well, we'll find out. Oh, I'm not pretty. And each time I do it, if I recall correctly, I would get more and more ink. I'm doing it so that I can cut a circle that fresh freeze is just not coming out, is it? Let me see if I can add some more. Yeah. 
Hopefully now it's good and inky. I'll turn it around. All right. That's better. Not pretty. And then I think I will take some wording. I can do thinking of you, celebrate. I think I will do thinking of you. Now this can kind of, you could straighten it out actually if you wanted to. So if you're uncertain about um, if you're bending it or not, just kind of drop it on your uh, table. Let me just quick clean this. And then just kind of pick it up with your block. So I don't know if that'll work. Let's try something else. I think I need something flat. How about happy birthday? That works. And I'm going to pick this up again so that I get some nice color. Oh, awesome. Not pretty. All right, now I'm going to close this up. You could, it, it, it'll stay actually for a day or so in one of these little cases. Now I'm going to take my punch. Punch it out. Yeah, not pretty. And I have some cardstock here in Fresh Freesia to put this on. This is a little plain though, isn't it? Let's see. I bet I have a little strip of designer series paper here from that set I was telling you about to see if I can give it a little extra. Oh, well, that's pretty. Hmm. Too much? Let's see what else I got right here. This is a little lighter. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to cut a strip of this then. All right, I want it to be about hmm, two inches wide. And five and a half inches tall. Put that aside. And, well, that's even pretty too, isn't it? Oh, now I'm confused. <laughs> I like them both. I don't know. Actually, I think I like this side better now. Okay, then that's what we'll use. That was just a fluke. But I like it better. Whoop, I better fold it first. Right in half at four and a quarter. Line this up on the edge. And then I'm going to pop this with dimensionals, just like the other one. I don't know what I did with my big, oh, here they are. Too much stuff on my desk. That's okay. It's pretty anyway. 
the backs off. But see, I'm just sitting here just kind of throwing stuff together. And I'm going to use these. They're kind of pinky. Milky dots. There. Plain but simple. All right, I've cut some others too. Plain but simple. So I did this in, um, let me tell you the new colors. <laughs> um, drawing a blank now. I don't know why. I th Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. That's what it is. So two different colors. And I believe both of them are com have come back. And in this designer series paper has both colors in it. I thought that was really pretty. So I caught that to four by five and a quarter. And I have my cardstock cut in half at eight and a half by five and a half. I'll fold it over. Add the designer series paper. This designer series paper is from um, Balloon, what's it called? Beautiful Balloons um, set that's coming up in the new catalog. Put some dimensionals on the back. Just real simple, celebrate. But you know, you don't always have to have anything big and elaborate. Just that with a little bit of bling. Let's see, what else can I put on besides those milky dots? These, um, I think, are, I don't know if they're still in the, still available, but they were also on clearance, the 2021-2023 um, In Color Opal Rounds. Now it's not the same color, but because they're off just a little bit, it actually looks pretty. Like it belongs. There. Not pretty. And then I did that same um, floral wreath as we did here. And I did it in Berry Burst, which is another color that's coming back. I think it's coming back. And the same designer series paper. This just, it's so easy to toss cards together. Uh oh, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Oh, love this allergy season. I don't know how many of you are um, wrestling with allergies. Pop it on. Whoop. You can tell my mind is all over the place tonight. Sorry about that. Some dimensionals. Three on the back. Pop it on. I'm going to add these uh, pink ones. Very similar, but yet different. Alrighty. So I wanted to show you some tips. So here's the cardstock that I cut um, all these circles out of. So if you're going to take your stamp set 
and you want to line up more things than um, than one stamp. You want to do more than one. So let's say you wanted to do the celebrate. Put it upside down in the already cut circle. And then uh, I guess the what else? No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to show you this. Sending you a and then you want to put something in here. Let's see, you could send a cupcake. So that way you know that it's lined up within a circle so that it's not off. And then take your block and there you go. That's my tip. So don't don't feel like you have to cut those out. Alrighty, I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for grinning and bearing my scatteredness this evening. I hope I've inspired you with this set. It, it's really uh, quite a versatile set, and I'm very pleased with it. Now, next Sunday, I have a Kit Night and Paper Pumpkin on Zoom. If you would like to join me, please uh, contact me and I'll get you the Zoom link. It's uh, a lot of fun. Bring an old paper pumpkin, the new paper pumpkin, a kit that you have on hand, anything, and we'll inspire each other and chit-chat. It's a lot of fun. Until then, happy stamping.